Norfolk Southern number 9755 is a Dash 944 CW that was built in February of 2003 and is one of the handful of NS-9s with the rare white face experiment of the early 2000s. In a past video, we talked about these thoroughbred anomalies of the 9700 number series NS-9s. I'll leave a link in the description box below and in the pinned comment to that video, just in case you missed it. We're in Hudson, Pennsylvania, on the site of what was once the Delaware and Hudson's Hudson Yard. But we're not here to talk about the D&H or the Dash 9s today. We're here to talk about their successors, the AC44C6M and the one that, well, sort of got away. On October 4, 2023, train 11Z came down the line and I came here to Hudson to document it. The main interest for me was the lead unit number 4400. This unit has no special standing in the NS Power Fleet. I just thought the number was cool. So here I was, reliving the time when the blue and gray Alcos and EMDs called this property home. That's when the bell started chiming, the gates came down, and the Z came flying around the bed. Unfortunately, reminiscing cost me precious time, and with no time to set up a video camera, I hastily captured this shot of the big GE with its long train and tow. This train came close to 170 cars, 168 if memory serves me proper, and the saving grace to this particular story is another local rail buff who goes by the name of the Lackawanna Valley Rail Fan did manage to video this train as it moved through the cut of Clark Summit about 25 miles up the line. Make sure you check that video out because it's an interesting train to watch. I'll leave a link to his video in the description box and also in the pinned comment, just in case you missed it.
The Z disappeared south just as fast as it appeared. Fast forward to 2024 and I found myself chasing more than 12,000 feet worth of Train 10Z up the grade to Clark Summit with the 3988 once again second out. Oh that's right, you saw that in the last video. Although I consider myself to be a die-hard EMD fan, I have to give credit where credit is due. Those three GEs seemingly made easy work of that monster train, even if it was mostly empty. And one last detail that is worthy of mention, that 10Z was 213 cars long, the longest train that I've ever shot to date. There was a 217 car 11Z that elbowed its way down the line back in 2021, but I failed to catch that manifest. I said in the last paragraph that once again the CMQ was second out. That's because this wasn't my first catch up. That came last year in 2023. On another dank and dreary gray overcast day, December 3rd, 2023 to be exact, when the 3988 along with three black and white sisters paraded through Hudson elephant style with train 11Z in tow. Of particular interest in this train were the two former Maryland Midland cement covered hoppers. Back to the future, it's 2024 again and the new year is only two days old when I caught another 11Z with another interesting locomotive in the mix, Wells Fargo Railroad Leaser 8964.
Number 8964 is one of 30 former Burlington Northern Santa Fe EMD SD70 Max that NS has on lease. Of the 30, the 8964 is one of four of that bunch that was built in the year 2000. The other 26 were built one year earlier in 1999. The 8966 that we saw a few videos back is the last number of the 30 and was also built in the year 2000. But that is another video.